term this month is John Doe cases. And what that means, these are cases filed using a person's DNA profile to identify them because we don't yet have their name. So that's pretty important, isn't it? Um, yeah, it, it, it turns out to be. I, it's a little less important than it used to be because the Colorado legislature changed the law. So on sex assaults, we used to have a 10-year statute of limitations. And so the statute of limitations, what it does is it prevents you from being able to bring charges. So if you haven't charged the case within that period of time, you can never charge it. So we had a 10-year statute of limitations. And if we didn't, we had a DNA profile, which was unique to the individual, but we didn't know the guy's name, mm -hmm. and he wasn't in the DNA database, then we would wait and wait and wait, and potentially the statute of limitations would run. So instead of letting that happen, we charged the case. People of the state of Colorado versus John Doe, and that's the John Doe part of it, with this DNA profile. And we actually set out their DNA profile right there in the filing document. Now we've filed the case, and the statute of limitations is told or it's stopped because there's a case. Then when you're waiting for the guy to get into the database, the case is there. You get indication that you have a match. They tell you the guy's name. We file a motion to amend. We include their name, and the case survives. Where we primarily use it now because the legislature says if you use DNA to solve a rape now, there's no statute of limitations. We use it in burglary cases, which has a three-year statute of limitations. And we probably have about 300 John Doe cases currently sitting in a cabinet in our office wow. waiting for the person to get into the DNA database. So as more and more people get into that database, uh, we'll get those matches and those cases will be alive. We know the person that John Doe committed the crime, we just don't know who John Doe is. But John Doe left a very unique identifier. He may have five aliases, he may have ten social security numbers, but he only has one DNA profile. And that's what we're using to charge the case to keep the statute of limitations from running. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> I didn't know so much went into that.